Solzin's Comet, Part 3, Into the Inferno. Don't worry, we can take Azula. I'm not worried about her, I'm worried about Aang. Maybe you should be worried about Azula. What am I holding? A cherry pit, princess. Yes, it is. So please, tell me why on the most important day of my life you've decided to leave a pit in my cherry. Please, forgive me. Put to death. Oh, very well. I will show mercy. You are banished. Leave this palace immediately. Yikes. You didn't need that job. It's not worth it. And make sure you get in between the toes. I won't have my first day as Fire Lord marred by poor foot hygiene. I mean, admittedly, I get that. Hygiene's important. The fleet's already taking off! Then we're taking off, too. Where's Ow. the closest airship? It's right <laughs> Nice. Ugh. Awesome. That was beautiful. That was an amazing shot. That was great. Do you know how long it took you to get here? Uh, a few minutes, I guess. Oh no, you should never give this girl power. She's not ready for it. Not in the state she's in. It's weird how she makes Ozai look like a good leader. The Daily would never betray you. And I'm sure that's just what you told Long Feng right. before you yeah. turned against him and joined me. You're all banished! But- Goodbye! There's no one, gonna be no one left in the palace. Oh, what the heck? Metal armor top? That's amazing. Wow. That was awesome and terrifying. That's how it's done. <laughs> Good work, Toph. Gotta love her. To take control of the ship. Take the wheel. That's a great idea! Let the blind girl steer the giant airship. Yes, we get one more blind joke thrown in for good measure. I'm glad. Uh, happy and sad, happy and sad. We have a very special birthday to celebrate! What? So, do you know whose birthday it is? I can't believe the captain remembered my birthday! He really does care! Oh my god, Saki just killed them all. <laughs> Oh, okay. He may have just saved your life. Sooner or later, they all would have betrayed me. Just like May and Tai Lee did. Yeah. Azula, we are concerned for you and your well-being. Yeah. Yeah, so it definitely is Tai Lee and May. My father asked you to come here and talk to me, didn't he? He thinks I can't handle the responsibility of being Fire Lord. I actually sympathize with her quite a bit. I know she's done horrible things, but I sympathize with a part of her that is a human being and wants friends and is so far gone she doesn't know how to rebuild herself. Like, I can imagine a life for Azula where she was healthy and happy and valued family and friends, you know? I think that would be a real possibility for her if it wasn't for her father's influence. I think the tragedy of her character is at this point she's too far gone. Now that she's lost the only things that tied her to the realm of love and compassion, there's nothing else left for her except for a complete unraveling. And it's a shame. It's a shame when you see talent and intelligence go to waste. It's not impossible for her to reform, but it's very difficult. It would take a lot. And it would also take her being able to see that that's possible and desirable. It's hard to imagine how that opportunity will be presented to her through this current course of action because she's just kicking everyone out. She's pushing everyone away. And everybody who actually has the potential to help her, she'll just brand an enemy. So I don't see how her shell could be cracked and she could see the error of her ways and start rebuilding herself in a way that's good for her. Perhaps it's best if you postpone your coronation. What? Which one of you just said that? What a shame. I order you to fight an Agni Kai. We're, We're not firebenders. firebenders. All right, fine. Hello, you're banished. Lee, you can stay. But I'm Lee, so who's banished? <laughs> Just leave, both of you. Go to the beach. Smooth out the wrinkles. Smoothing out the wrinkles. Only once every hundred years can a firebender experience this kind of power. Hmm. Ira seems a little bit excited. That's good. I love how this is Iroh's return to leading an army. Thinking about it now, it's kind of cool because it's him completing the circle too, you know? Like, he experienced a major departure from his normal life during a siege, 
and he kind of left the Fire Nation behind him. He found peace in that, but part of me also wants him to resolve that, you know, like you want him to go back and deal with the Fire Nation with all the power he has and all the family ties he has to the Fire, the, the fire Lord and the Fire Family. And so now here he is getting closure in the same way he started that journey. The Siege of Ba Sing Se broke him, but now it gives his life new meaning, and that's a really cool thing. It's like older version of the gang. Yes, my boy Jung Jung. Can't touch him. I'm so happy to see Jung Jung get some get some more screen time. I missed him. All right, hair. It's time to face your doom. What a shame. You always had such beautiful hair. What are you doing here? Oh, it's her mother. I didn't want to miss my own daughter's coronation. I know what you really think of me. You think I'm a monster. I think you're confused. Someone pointed out to me in the comments of a previous video, there was a part early on when Azula talked about not having one hair out of place. Her hair seems to be a physical indication of her mental state. Although, come to think of it, I guess it's not surprising for this show, given their fixation with hair. All your life you've used fear to control people, like your friends May and Tai Lee. Mm. Well, what choice do I have? Trust is for fools. I love you, Azula. I do. Wow. Speaking of cracks forming, this does show that she's working it out, which is interesting. Like, she's trying to resolve it. These kinds of big personality upheavals, they start with this kind of disturbances, you know, like severe confusion. It seems like a bad sign that she's maybe hallucinating, but it's a good sign that she's contending with these things. Her mother represents a voice that is inside of Azula, so there's some hope there, I guess, maybe? I like how he just rides in the front of the ship. It's pretty badass. Waiting for this go. moment for so long. I can give her right back. Oh yeah, Ang gets Ang's fire gets stronger too, right? <laughs> Interesting. You know what's serious when Ozai starts stripping. It's Aang! He's back! Looks pretty decisive. Please listen to me. We don't have to fight. You have the power to end it here and stop what you're doing. I do have the power. All the power in the world. I can't wait to see Aang use all his powers together. Nice. Go Aang! Whoa. That's yeah. a lot of fire, isn't it? Yeah. Am I telling us to plan, Sokka? Watch each other's backs, and if we make it that far, I'll let you know. Oh, no. I'm okay! Just finish the mission! I now crown you Fire Lord! What are you waiting for? Do it! No. Sorry, but you're not going to become Fire Lord today. I am. <laughs> you're hilarious. And you're going down. <sighs> Just you and me, brother. Agony Kai! She's playing you! But I can take her this time. There's something off about her. I can't explain it, but she's slipping. Yes, and this way, that's no sure. one else has to get hurt. I'm convinced. Good enough for me. Also very nice that they're doing Agni Kai. I hope she lives. I know it's a small chance, but I really hope so. Nice. He's using all elements. But he's still doing his classic evading thing. All three firebenders in this family have experienced the difficulty of pinning Aang down. Oh. 
There you go. Taking a lesson from Tom. Oh, there's a lightning. He's not quite ready to harness it yet. There it is. Oh no. Mm. He could have ended it. I feel sad about Azura. lost everything. She can't even beat her brother in firebending. This is just insult to injury. This is amazing, the way they did this. It's so cool, but also so sad at the same time. Oh no. No lightning today? What's the matter? Afraid I'll redirect it? Don't tell I'll show you lightning! Oh no, she's gonna hurt herself. It's not even gonna get to him. She can't even handle it, she's too out of control. Oh no! Crap, I was not expecting that. Now Katara has to fight her. I guess Azula hasn't lost everything. She's still diabolical. Is that the end of the episode? That went by so fast. No, is it the last one? Oh man. So is this comic, part four, Avatar Aang. This is it.